Finally, after just one month shy of seven years of waiting, Geometry Dash Update 2.2, the largest update in the game's history by far, was finally released on all platforms on December 19th, 2023. The amount of time it took for 2.2 to release was so long that it is longer than all other eras of the game combined, meaning that the game's release up to the release of 2.1 and all of the updates in between still took less time than it did for 2.2 to release. But what if things were different? What if 2.2 had actually released a year or two after 2.1. We of course know that in the actual timeline, Robtop would keep adding features to the update in a repetitive cycle for years. And this video is an exploration of what would have happened if he had decided not to. If you enjoyed today's video, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton, and you can always undo it later. We're getting really close to 25,000 subscribers. Also, comment down below if you want more, like, what if videos. I made one a while back on what if Space UK had never hacked, so let me know if you guys want this to be a more common series on the channel. Without further ado, let's get into the video. After the release of Geometry Dash 2.1 on the 17th of January for Steam and the 18th of January for iOS, Android, and Amazon, Geometry Dash Sub-Zero was released in December of that year, as a preview spin-off game for the new update. Previous updates, this would have marked a significant development point with Rob Tob in the new update, that most of the features are either done or polished enough to at least be in a spin-off game, signaling the imminent release of the next update. In our timeline, Rob Tob's channel goes dark after the release of Sub-Zero, only showcasing newer features that he had been working on like the particle editor and platformer mode, over a year later in 2019. For the purpose of this video, let's say that Robtop released 2.2 in early 2018, but imagine it would fall around February of 2018? Hey, maybe even February 22nd, so the date is 2.22, just for the memes. The reason I think this is the most likely is because platformer mode took so much effort and extra time to integrate into the game because it's a huge addition. That feature alone could have been its entire separate update. This is also right before a big turning point with 2.2 with a lot of other features, such as the warp mechanics of the editor, the particle editor, and the keyframe system, as well as the auto build system. So 2.2 would have been a much smaller update in comparison, with most likely just the original Sub-Zero features along with the Swing Copter game mode and Explorers as the new level. Speaking of Explorers, we would most likely have seen a completely different version of Explorers if 2.2 was released in 2018. We can deduce that Rob Tob most likely started work on Explorers way later than originally anticipated. This is because in the sneak peek showcasing Explorers before it was delayed to 2.21, releasing in late 2022, it's largely made up of gameplay features that were only added to 2.2 much later in the process, years following 2021, along with a new pixel block style that was only really introduced with the first sneak peek releasing in 2021. This either means that Explorers looked completely different beforehand and Rob Tob completely redid the level in order to to better fit the style of Dash, or he just straight up hadn't worked on it at all. So we most likely would have seen something a lot closer to what we got in Sub-Zero for our new main level for 2.2, using a lot of those features instead. Part of me is almost saddened by the fact that we got Explorers way later, because I also do really like the idea of getting another Sub-Zero-esque level main game that is substantially more difficult, which I think would have worked very well, especially with a Hinkick song like Explorers, which is an absolute banger. That being said, on the other hand, there is a very big positive to the update taking as long as it did. That being that without an addition of new features, theaters were forced to evolve what they were making in the game to keep things fresh. Things evolved from early 2.1 levels that were relatively simple, things like hypersonic. As a community, I think we experienced some growing pains with the ugly 2018 era levels of over-decoration and core style, before settling on glow supremacy with levels like the golden, followed by the modern-day emphasis on effects, optimizations, complex designs, and art. If 2.2 was released in 2018, either none of this would have happened or it would have happened much later after the release of this 2.2 update. This would have also probably been influenced by the imminent release of 2.3 at this point, most likely slated to be released in 2019 or 2020 at the time, which we'll come back to later. The point is that we really grew a lot as a community throughout the 2.1 era because we had to make our own things to get excited about with the lack of new features. I mean, hell, 2.2 released and within a couple weeks someone recreated Five Nights at Freddy's in platformer mode. That is insane. Sane. Another way that I think the community probably would have been impacted if 2.2 released in 2018 is that a lot of older community members would have probably stuck around for a fair bit longer, 
As many community members who left the community around the middle of 2.1 cited the lack of 2.2's release as one of the reasons for them leaving the community. Players in the community like C1997, Aeon Air, and Trusta, although Aeon Air and Trusta both came back to the game anyways, would have most likely been more active and or never left the community if 2.2 was released along with further updates afterwards. A lot of newer generation players that started playing the game circa 2020 to 2023 are much younger. I mean, hell, look at GD Short's content. Whether you think this would have been a good thing or a bad thing is up to you, because to be fair, the older community was also kind of cringe, but honestly that probably would have been the case regardless of what changed in the timeline. In terms of further updates after this version of 2.2 is released, I think we would have most likely seen the other features that are in actual 2.2 in our timeline released as 2.3, mainly focused around the platformer mode, with other miscellaneous features like the warp feature, the auto build system, and the new level dash, probably existing in, again, a completely different form, taking somewhat of a backseat to the new platformer mode, which would have acted as our new quote-unquote game mode, even though it's an entire new game type. This probably would have gone hand-in-hand -hand with all of the new pixel blocks, if they hadn't already been released in 2.2, making overall for a pretty large update. I don't think this update would have been able to have been released in 2019. Platformer mode is such a large feature that I highly doubt that RobTub would have been able to code it all himself in one year. I think it would have been more likely to see a release of this version of 2.3 sometime mid to late 2020 when the pandemic really started ramping up. This new update probably would have added a lot of new players to the community even more so than we got in our actual timeline, because everyone was stuck at home and with games like Among Us and Fall Guys blowing up around that time, it makes sense that a colorful game would be able to gain a lot of traction. Everything after that is completely impossible to predict, especially because we haven't even seen 2.3 yet, and we probably won't for quite some time. And besides, at this point, what RobTub would have decided to put into the game at that point probably would be completely different based off this other version of the Geometry Dash community. Next thing that probably would have been completely changed changed is the daemon list. I still think that a lot of really hyped up projects towards the end of 2018 or 2017 would have been released in the state that they were released in our timeline. Big levels like Bloodlust and Kinos probably wouldn't have been changed too much, if anything they probably got a small 2.2 facelift. For example, the small swing copter part in Bloodlust could have been replaced with the actual swing copter game mode, but overall things probably would have been released in a very similar fashion. The latest level that I can think of that this would probably extend to is Tartarus because of its legacy aesthetic. And given how things had already been set in motion for Zodiac to some extent, the top one timeline would have probably looked pretty similar up until Tartarus, but everything after that was most likely going to be completely different. The final thing I want to mention that I think would have most likely been the case if 2.2 had released and most people originally thought it would be released, is that tools like Mega Hack and FPS Bypass would have most likely never got the community-wide acceptance that they did. Increasing the skill cap with the present of new game modes and new mechanics would have been more focused on including those mechanics in new levels instead of looking for hardware solutions. It's possible that this debate still would have existed in some form, but I think it would at least be less likely that tools like Megahack would have been considered legitimate. Even if the FPS bypass would be more or less acceptable, I do think RobTop would include a version of the FPS bypass in the main game regardless though, even if 2.2 released that early. So in many ways, I am grateful that 2.2 took as long as it did. It really gave this community a chance to sort of mature, figure out where it wanted to be in terms of how we treated standards with creating and playing, in terms of how good we want to make our levels and how legitimate gameplay should be to be considered acceptable. But most importantly, the last thing that would be completely different is that you would have never subscribed. <laughs> Prove that we're not in the darkest timeline by subscribing to this channel. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. It really does mean the most. I've had this idea since before 2.2 came out. I really like the idea of making more what if videos, so if you guys enjoy these, I would be so happy to make more of them. It's like a prediction video, except I can't be proven wrong. If you'd like to, you can join my Discord server to talk to me more. The link is in the description. And yeah, have a great day, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.